Space Command was a Canadian children's science fiction television adventure series, broadcast on CBC Television in 1953 and 1954, the first time the network aired its own dramatic series. Each program presented life on the fictional space station XSW 1 operated by the Worldwide Space Command, featuring the activities of Frank Anderson. Bob Barkley. Another character, Phil Mitchell, was portrayed by James Doohan, best known as Scotty on the 1960s television series Star Trek. William Shatner, the leading actor on Star Trek, also appeared on episodes of Space Command. Other series cast members included Andrew Anthony, Joe Austin, Harry Geldard, C.E.C. Linder, Aileen Taylor, and Austin Willis. Harold Wright was technical advisor to the series. Actors appearing in episodes included Barry Morse later of the TV series The Fugitive and Space, 1999. <laughs> <laughs> Production details John Lowry provided special effects for the series, including presentations of rockets and weightlessness, although modern audiences would now reject the techniques used at that time. Models were created at producer Murray Chercover's residence, then rocket propulsion material was obtained from TW Hand Fireworks. Topic. Scheduling. The series was initially seen on Friday evenings at 19.30 Toronto time. The debut episode on 13 March 1953 featured the topic of sunspots. This first run continued until 17 July 1953. Other topics planned for the series included asteroids, space medicine, meteorites, and evolution. From the 17th of October 1954, the series moved to Saturdays at 18:30, but came back to CBC's Friday schedule on the 8th of January 1954 for the 1800 time slot. The final run of the series returned to Saturdays on 1 May 1954, again at the 1800 time slot. Although short lived, Space Command proved to be a hit dramatic program for CBC's earliest years. Topic. Preservation status Nova Scotia media historian Ernest Dick lamented the loss of recordings of nearly all the series' episodes, despite the production of kinescopes for distribution to CBC stations across Canada. The only known extant recording is that of one November 1953 episode. 